Q&A part two. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome in this Q&A part two. As promised, you really liked the first one, so I thought let's do part two because a lot of you all were also like kind of mad. I didn't answer your question, so I hope I answer it now. And if I don't, well, there will be other parts. <laughs> Putain, ouf, tu. Et t'as pas toutes les frites dans le même sachet, hein? Moi que dans mes. Oui, mais alors chinoise, mais ni mettre une Disney. Une bière une fois. Pas deux, hein? <laughs> I will be Elon Musk for one day, so I will draw myself some money. And then the next day, when I will be myself again, I will be a rich bitch. Not just a bitch, but like a rich bitch. It is it is exhausting indeed to slay all the time like that and look like to be perfect. I see how the people outside look at me. I, I see it is very hard to live like that every day. It is very hard to slay all the time and I just know I have to live with that forever and it's just the way it is. I can, oh my god. My eyes are really watering. I really have a career in acting, I think. <laughs> Breakfast is for me my favorite meal of the day and also the most important. I love English breakfast. Like breakfast, give me bacon, give me sausage, give me eggs, give me everything. The full package with some coffee and, and water, orange juice and... If I do not get breakfast in the morning, I will have a bad day. And you all will have a bad day too, because when I do not have breakfast, I am the worst. I am a monster. Wow, the weather in Belgium is a woman. <laughs> it's bipolar. You know, I can wake up with sun in my face and then I will be making a snowman and then I will have a very, very hardcore shower from all the rain and then I will have a tan somehow. Voila. In Belgium, we sometimes have the four seasons in one day. A oh, nice favor. Um, I, I can puke on you. I can puke on you. I am proud of myself for... For... I say YouTube, we will get intimate. So I am proud of myself for being still here today. When I was 13, 14 years old, I got very, very hardcore much bullied at school. I still don't even know why, but I got bullied and it went far away and I've tried suicide. It's my mother that found me on time. I was two weeks in the hospital. I call it a dark period in my life. And I'm proud of myself that I got back up, that I'm here today doing what I love and making people happy. I think that's the best and craziest comeback ever. It's a good revenge from me to me. Voila. I don't know, but if you got the address, please hit me up. <laughs> I wanted to be tall. <laughs> I wanted to be an astronaut, actually. I didn't become an astronaut, but I still need some space, though. My secret talent, I can play songs with my throat. Okay, we're gonna play a game. Guess the song. Yes, it was Tetris, the second one. Yes, my, my throat is red. <laughs> no, because to be honest, I literally do not give a fuck. <laughs> Whatever you do, there will always be people judging you because they are not happy inside. And that's sad for them, but it's not your problem. Like, I know there are a lot of people making fun of me because of my content, but I love what I do. And I know there is a lot of people that also love what I do. That's all that matters. So I don't care. <laughs> I'm happy. And I know it makes them mad to see me happy. So I'm gonna stay happy. Yep. <laughs> the fist? No, it's a joke. It's a joke. I love pickles. I could eat pickles all day. Tomatoes, only cold. I do not like warm tomatoes. But cold, mmm, so tasty. Warm, not so much. But in pasta bolognese, amazing. Just a tomato hot, I cannot. No, I do, no. I could not, I could not date a 41 years old. No.
Ja, absoluut. Ik, uh, ik ben wel oorspronkelijk Franstalig, maar uh, ik, kan Nederlands. Ja, ik kan Nederlands spreken. Dat komt omdat mijn familie is dus helemaal Franstalig, maar mijn ouders hebben de goede beslissing genomen om mij sinds de kleuterklas tot de hogeschool op Nederlandstalige studies te zetten. Maar ik ben wel Franstalig door. I am almost 25. Yep. 29 March. Remember the date, I will be 25. Darling, you are never an option. Even if you love them, you do not deserve to be treated like an option. If you're feeling like an option, get the fuck out. Someone that really deserves you, that really loves you, you will be their priority, not an option. So I'm sorry to tell you this, but if you are an option, they do not love you. Get out, get over it, and find someone that deserves you. I do not handle them. <laughs> I literally have no times with that. I mean, feedback, yes, give me feedback. I love having feedback. If it can help me grow and get better, absolutely. But negative comments, I do not handle them. I do not deal with that. I do not have the time, neither the energy to deal with that. Right now, I am a lot on Brawl Stars. That's a phone game. I love playing Fortnite. When I was 12, 13, I was like a huge fan of World of Warcraft. I played that every day, like every fucking day. I was a night elf hunter and I got so addicted that my parents banned this game from my room. I miss it so much. I think about it every day. Yes! Oh my god! I also like the relief while taking the dump. You know, when you feel it coming out. Oh, that's an amazing sensation. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about football, so when there is like the match, I am always rooting for the ball because I know it's gonna score. It always does. <laughs> Amazing question, we're gonna end on that note. Maybe not the next video. There will be a Q&A part three one day for sure because you still have a lot of questions. You're also curious. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Did I just do a Gen Z heart? I am a millennial. Love you all. Thank you all so, so, so much for your support, for everything. Subscribe to the channel, back me up on Instagram, back me up on TikTok. Do whatever you want to do, actually. But that will be very nice. Thank you so much. Love you.